Welcome to the Jacks USA's look at advanced manufacturing in Northeast Florida. I'm Julie, and today my colleague Sophia and I are going to share some really interesting information with you. That's right. Northeast Florida is one of the largest manufacturing regions in the state. Competitive local assets include industrial sites ranging from hundreds to more than a thousand acres, as well as two certified mega sites we have here, which are Cecil Commerce Center and Crawford Diamond. The number of advanced manufacturing establishments in the region is growing, which means we need even more well-trained members of the workforce. I find it so interesting that we create so many products here in Northeast Florida. For example, aviation, food and beverage, personal hygiene products, communication, rail, industrial equipment, and medical equipment. A growing subset of the industry includes aviation and aerospace manufacturing. That's right. It's amazing. And the manufacturing occupations offer excellent opportunities for wage growth, which is really important. Mm -hmm. Like we mentioned, subsets of the industry include aviation and aerospace, as you can see on your screen, as well as metal products and defense technologies. There's a great deal of growth and investment being made as demand increases. I can see that innovative technology being demonstrated in this industry makes it enticing to those who like to build, design, create, and see concrete results from their efforts. Exactly, so let's take a closer look. Jacksonville has a wealth of opportunity in advanced manufacturing. Do you think most people really know about all of this, Sophia? They may, but if they don't, they definitely should. Uh, we can look at the average wage per worker here. We know that retirements are pending and there are going to be many new openings being offered soon with great wages and the opportunity to get in on the ground floor of manufacturing companies to accelerate your career. Sophia, here we have a couple of employers in Northeast Florida. Will you share some of the approximate employee numbers? Above partnership, which is the basic level, we have Vulcan with 250 employees. Johnson & Johnson with 2,600, Jinko Solar with 300, Hans Mill Corporation with 130 employees, and JAA, which is Jacksonville Aviation Authority, with 300 employees. This totals to a combined number of 3,530 employees just with these investors alone. Each employee represents someone on their career pathway, and this could be you too. Here's a look at some additional employer information. This kind of detail can also be found on the industry report under Career Pathways and Advanced Manufacturing on earnup.org. We'll get to that website a little bit later. So the total industry job numbers over 20,000 just in this region alone with more to follow as new projects are announced. Here you see an industry careers word cloud, and it really helps represent a number of industry options that you have should you choose to go into advanced manufacturing. So in addition to this amazing number of industry specific jobs, there are many others that could use your skills if you're interested in marketing, IT, human resources, and finance. So the top five jobs in our region are team assemblers, and we have nearly a thousand of those, and their average wage is $33,000. Welders and cutters, we have a little over 700 of those with an average wage of $41,100. Um, aircraft mechanics, 700, 711 of those in our region with an average wage of $54,600 laborers and material movers with just a few short of 700 in our region with an average wage of $31,400 and first line supervisors, 665 of those in our region. And they average a salary of $58,100 per year. When thinking about average wages, remember that overtime and off shifts can help generate additional income as well. That's so true. So let's take a deeper dive at a couple of specific occupations in the advanced manufacturing space. And as we've mentioned, aircraft and aviation is a subset of the industry that actually has a 1.8% forecasted annual growth, which is going to be significant in the region. So if you decide you'd be interested in aircraft mechanic, 
um, this kind of role, what you'll do is diagnose, adjust, repair, or overhaul aircraft engines and assemblies. Um, maybe look at the hydraulic or pneumatic systems. This would also include helicopter and aircraft engine specialists. Some kind of post-secondary training is needed if you're going to go into this particular occupation and regional options for schooling um, include the airframe mechanic and maintenance course or the aircraft power plant technology course at Florida State College at Jacksonville, which you may know as FSCJ. Another option that you could consider is to seek involvement in the St. John's River State College Fleet Readiness Center Southeast Apprenticeship Program. This would offer you excellent hands-on paid training and guaranteed federal job opportunities upon uh, completion of the program. Actually, you would have a job um, available to you at the end of the program. And students um, pursue their schooling at the SJR State Orange Park campus if you would be interested in looking into aircraft mechanic opportunities. So another job we have available in our region uh, that you can uh, be employed in here as well as get educated in in our region is mechanical engineering. And according to Jobs EQ, uh, these stats have been given 751 combined regional jobs with an average salary of $80,400. Um, so looking into a little bit uh, of what mechanical engineers do, they perform engineering duties in planning and designing tools, engines, machines, and other mechanically functioning, functioning equipment. They oversee installation, operation, maintenance, and repair of equipment such as centralized heat, gas, water, and steam systems. You can apply skills in this position if you're interested in technology, design, math, and mechanics. Um, in our region, you can obtain a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at Jacksonville University and University of North Florida. Well, thanks for pointing that out, Sophia. Next, I think it's important if we share with everybody the employability skills that are really essential to being successful in the occupation. Sometimes employability skills are called soft skills, but truly they are absolutely fundamental to securing and maintaining a great job as well as thinking about how else you could navigate through your career pathway and the things that you're seeing right on your screen like accountability and attendance communication particularly with email those things were all stated by employers in our region that are in the advanced manufacturing space so you're getting this information directly from those in our region that have the ability to give you a paycheck if you get into the advanced manufacturing industry I think it's important also to show the initiative that they mentioned here, rather than waiting for somebody to approach you and say, I'd like to show you this skill, or would you like to learn this piece of equipment or technology that you actually bring that forward and you seek out things like additional mentorships or additional on the job training. Sometimes you may need to take roles and responsibility that maybe you're not really interested in, but definitely do those things because it will afford you a very valuable learning experience and those around you will take note that you took the opportunity to do those important things for the company. So here you see on your screen the example of 2021 announcements year to date in our Northeast Florida region and advanced manufacturing projects were really dominant across the regional landscape and they offered new job opportunities as well as jobs created through expansion. That's right, Julie. And some of those companies here include Boeing, Tactical Air and Malnove projects, which will result in nearly 500 new jobs being added to this region. Another recent company that has been added to the area is Made in Space. They are a pioneer of in-space manufacturing and assembly, and assembly technologies. They were acquired by Redwire in 2020, a new venture that is rolling up a number of smaller space companies. Made in Space, which was founded in 2010, is currently based in here in Jacksonville, Florida, and has developed 3D printers flown on the International Space Station, and has a NASA contract for a mission called Arconaut-1 to demonstrate the in-space assembly of solar arrays. That's awesome. Um, so many wonderful opportunities that we've illustrated already. And now Sophia and I would like to kind of show you a website that we often utilize. You may have gotten a little sneak peek there. Um, this is earnup.org. Some of you may have heard of this before or even utilized this before in some of your classrooms, but we want to make sure that you have this awareness. So if you go to earnup.org, you will see we have 
a ton of different information, whether you're a high school student, you've graduated from high school, perhaps you're a veteran, what kind of information is available to you as far as financial aid, scholarships, admissions, all of those good things can be found here. But the thing that's really our focus today is career pathways, specifically right here, advanced manufacturing. So if you click on that drop down, it will take you to this particular portion of earnup.org. You're going to see that there's some information about the industry. This should look very familiar after watching this presentation, but we want to make sure you're aware that there's a lot of different ways you can engage in this industry to learn more. You could watch a video here. Um, we've heard a little bit about Made in Space. You, you can see folks right there on video that work at Made in Space. You could click on and look at the industry career pathway, which affords you details and information that are specific to Northeast Florida. So when you're looking at the number of people in an occupation, um, the companies that exist, the average wages and employment, all that information is there to be really helpful to you. Also looking at an actual pathway. We want you to be aware that there are multiple entry points and multiple ways to plug in to this industry here in our region. And so what we've done is we have color coded the programs available at our region's state colleges and universities, and we've created kind of a sampling of what that could look like, what kind of certificate programs exist right here where you are already living, and the type of occupations and wages that correspond with those levels of, of education. And again, please don't think that you know, if I choose to get a certificate or an associate degree, then that means that's my stopping point. Absolutely not. As you see, there are so many different ways that you can kind of move through this career pathway. And perhaps you start working in industry after obtaining some skills after high school, and maybe they will um, do some kind of tuition reimbursement program with you. So perhaps you could then pursue a bachelor or graduate level of education. And then you'll see the kind of corresponding jobs and wages that accompany those levels of education. Of course, we always want you to be aware of the many companies that are looking to hire talented individuals that are interested in advanced manufacturing. And so right here, you see a great sampling of some of those employers in our seven county Northeast Florida region. Now you can click out of that presentation. You can watch additional videos, but I also encourage you as does Sophia to kind of go through and look at these clickable links. We want you to be able to click on these company websites. Um, it will take you right to the website where you can learn more about the companies products, services, learn more about the company culture, um, look at potential internship or job opportunities and see how you may wish to plug in. Certainly data on any topic is interesting and informative, but we also want you to hear directly from those that actually live and work here in this region, how they've plugged in, where they've gone to school, where they work and the kind of occupations that they um, are engaged in. So you can click on any one of these particular success stories. And we're going to click on Nakia Jackson from BAE Systems. This tells you how Nakia got involved um, in her career. She is now a ship superintendent at BAE Systems Jacksonville, doing very, very well. Um, and she's currently working on some additional certifications. Um, you could also click on this example here of Tyler Wilkinson, certified production technician, went through some um, accelerated training at SJR State and loves what he does every day. So there are certainly so many different ways for you to think about plugging into this very industry. And that is a very quick overview of the Earn Up um, website. And certainly a JAX USA partnership, we hope that this information is very, very helpful to you. Um, we encourage you to check out all of the different resources that we have available for you here in the advanced manufacturing space. Um, there are so many different options to consider and that's what makes Northeast Florida so fantastic. Thank you.